I'm Brent Adams. I've waited for years for a people's movement to spark, and once it did, I wanted to be front and center with my camera. Quickly, these rallies and protests can organize online, first with the Arab Spring in the Middle East, and then it went to the United States with Occupy Wall Street. Well, now it's hit the Central Coast. Occupy Santa Cruz begins tomorrow. And early last week, the event was created on Facebook, and already more than 1,400 people have liked the group, and 225 say they'll be attending the rally tomorrow. That number is expected to grow as word gets out. It's on Twitter, too, with the earliest mentions of the event going back to just last week. We're going to allow them to have their event, um, and as long as it remains peaceful and, and safe for everybody, uh, we'll allow them to just uh, carry on and, and do their business. They have taken our houses through an illegal foreclosure process. So the smaller groups can define the key points and then bring them back to the judge. Uh, agree is this? <laughs> no. <laughs> the point of process would block, which is like, absolutely no way I'll let this happen. <laughs> Part of having a General Assembly, part of having a people's movement is that people talk, but how do we keep from all talking at the same time? How do we have all of our voices heard? It would be impressive if we managed to feel like we all had a voice in this group of a couple hundred people, 5,000 people for the media. Yeah, the revolutionary part is the process, and it takes forever. And it's kind of like making sausage. You don't necessarily want to watch the process. There's a division between the people of this country and the legal system of this country playing a giant good cop, bad cop game on us. We want to occupy something? Is that kind of where we're headed? Our public spaces are being taken from us, and I propose that we take some back. I'd like to see a show of hands of people that can actually do the camping. Like how many people here are serious about coming out to an occupation, regardless of the risk? I would like to suggest that we occupy the courthouse. It's a good spot. There's parking lot galore there. There's, there's all kinds of space. They spent hours together debating the merits of various locations they might occupy, and they learned to communicate through a process that was new to most of them. The reason I would choose San Lorenzo Park is that there's no laws that would be broken there as far as I know. There's already people living there from time to time and that it is close to the courthouse. It's legal to be in the court in the courthouse, open spaces, 24 hours a day. It's not legal to be in the park, but you can still do it. However, people should be aware that they did bust us last year at the courthouse, and that four people have been sentenced to jail for that. San Lorenzo Park and the courthouse are right next to each other. Right. 10 a.m. Thursday, October 6th at San Lorenzo Park. If you can sense on that, put your little thumbs up in the air. They did it. After that first General Assembly, they broke up into the first working groups, such as media, food, legal, etc. One group stayed for an additional hour to hammer out a statement on nonviolence. The polarity of opinions on this particular conversation would go on to be one of the most divisive conflicts of this movement. They had collectively decided to occupy a park along the river. This park and the riverbanks were already occupied to an extent by the local homeless population. My own. So I'm still living in the park or on the levee, catching staff. Often. We're not staying in a shelter now. There's a there's like a four to six month wait, which I did sign up for. Because I don't want to be be I can't be out here with a baby, you know. Um sometimes we um crash on people's floors, but most of the time we just curl up in a, in a bush. 
can't bring a baby home to a bush. You know? It's not even legal. <laughs> Welcome to Santa Cruz, where 2,000 homeless people struggle to survive among the millions of tourists every year. It's thought to be a liberal town, but there's a strong dichotomy here. The city council swings between liberal and more conservative areas, but it's still illegal to sleep outside at night. Santa Cruz is an activist town with a hippie legacy, but that hasn't helped the homeless as they brave the cold nights of winter. Two colleges and a thriving tourist industry have driven rents sky high, while homeless people are driven under bridges and into the woods to sleep. It rained on that first day of the occupation in the park, but people came out. Folks brought food, tents, tarps, and lots and lots of cardboard and pens. You know how Occupy folks love to make signs. Someone even brought a gas-powered generator. Folks began to meet each other and to see who was showing up for this first exciting day of occupying public space together. They braved a cold, wet night and it felt great. And to Santa Cruz, where dozens spent their second day protesting against corporate America. It did not begin with a peaceful start. There were a couple of incidents that turned some people away. Well, the end of nonviolent protests got off to a violent start when a female transient took a swing at an off-duty San Jose firefighter. No, 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 no,
marched on the banks regularly. People withdrew their money from the large banks, or at least tried. Here's a viral video of a couple of young women at the downtown Santa Cruz branch of Bank of America. They tried to withdraw their money. The sign out. What if I take I the need sign? You all to leave right now. But instead, were kicked out as the cops were called. The bank locked the door behind them. There are 46 million poor people in this country. What do we say to that? Occupy. There are 25 million unemployed people in this country. What do we say to that? There are 10 million foreclosures going on in this country. What do we say? Women make 77 cents on the dollar to a man. What do we say? There are 2 million people in prison in this country. What do we say? They've deported a million people out of this country, undocumented immig immigrants in the last two years. What do we say? Why are we poor? Because they are rich. It is not that they are rich and we are poor. They are rich because we are poor.